Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me. My name is Ken. I'm a psychic medium and Reiki master. This is gonna be a reading for Taurus for February, the end of February going into March. Um, so when we're starting off, we'll start off with the, the, we're starting off with the fool. The Joker represents the fool in cardamancy. Um, so this is somebody that's, that's got some things from their past that have ignited a flames of change in their life. Um, I'm looking at your past and I'm seeing, I'm seeing a female that was pregnant and I'm seeing that there was a loss of a child. For some of you, this might be like a miscarriage or an abortion. Some of you might have just, just lost a child in, in an accident. I'm seeing that this, uh, this cata cata catalyst of being the catalyst of change for you, uh, for a rebirthing energy. Um, it's also been the, the, the push for you, you know, the change that you've been through. I am seeing that you've done some work. I feel a really heavy energy. So you must be going through a lot. So I am seeing the, the witch's room. So this, this speaks on the masculine energy in a positive way. So you're learning how to make decisive decisions. Um, make sure they're being based off of spirituality, logic, reason. Um, you're learning to make decisions faster, easier. And also this is just raising the masculine energy in the body. And if you're trying to build a business, this is what you need. You need that masculine energy to, to really sit down and, uh, and draw up the, the diagram of what you want it to be. For some of you guys, you're trying to create, you're cre trying to create a business or you're trying to create a, a way of life. You're going through some change. Maybe this is completely changing your whole uh, way of being. So tapas is coming out. And this card speaks on uh, discipline that's needed in, in your life. All right. So this is somebody might, that you might already started a spiritual path and maybe you've progressed a little bit. Um, this is reminding you that um, there are some things that still need your discipline. All right. Something you need to master. And again, this is, this is also um, what do you need to do to get your business going? Sit down and see how she's sitting there like contemplating. She's sitting there looking out into the world on the rock, on her solid foundation that she's got herself to. So you're trying to create something. And also for some of you, this is just trying to break away from, from the past and make sure that you're confronting that and that's gonna be a trauma trigger for you definitely to work on when we talk about uh, healing childhood or healing traumatic experiences. I am seeing the Cobra energy pop up in your near future. So this speaks on speaks on a few things so there's something that you need to learn it's almost like something that you're you're trying to put together but you don't still don't have all the information yet so there's something you need to learn and when we come to this point in life to signal to the universe that that we're ready to be the teacher again because some of you might have progressed and maybe you know you get kind of arrogant you don't feel like you need any, to learn anything else this is a reminder that there's something sitting there waiting on you that you need to learn um, you need to speak that out into the universe sit down by yourself and uh, ask for to be taught, you know, ask for the lesson, ask, ask, ask to learn whatever it is you need to learn. Um, and it almost feels like it's a component with putting, putting this together. And when you do that, when you're, when, when you're ready to be a student, the teacher will appear. All right. So that's the energy you want to move into. All right, we're going to go from there. You're making progress forward. Keep that in mind, all right? You're coming out of that old ass energy uh, shaking and baking. You're making progress. You've got some, uh, you're gonna be successful with, with what it is you're trying to create. You just have to diagram it out, make sure that, you know, plot a course, how are you gonna do it? What are you gonna do? What, what, what do you need to connect in order to make that happen? So if this is something you're just still sitting there thinking about it, you need to fucking act on it and do it. That's what the Joker represents, the fool, is you jumping out there and doing whatever it takes to make your dreams come true. Yeah, you've got, you're definitely going to be successful with whatever it is that you're working on. And for some of you, this is just, um, you know, be, moving yourself to a better place in life and and really anchoring in what is uh what does it mean to be human you know what are you what are you trying to accomplish 
It feels like before you were being just drug around by your heels by the universe and you're just smacking your head on trees. Now you need to start, you're really creating your future by understanding what it is that you want and what is the dream that you're trying to accomplish. You need to have that in your mind and it doesn't matter what you need to do to get there. You need to just to get it in your mind what it is that you want and then begin to work on it. It doesn't matter how crazy or how far off you think it is. There's some clearing that needs to happen. Uh, you need to clear out the heart chakra. There's still some things you're holding on to. There's some shadow work that needs to be done. It feels like also the feminine energy. So really make sure you're getting that fear space in check. And make sure you're developing a grounding practice. You've got a gift popping up in the near future. Right, so for some of you, this could be like financial. That if you're struggling about how to get the finances to put all this together, you're gonna be you're gonna be getting some help. For some of you, this could be just inspiration. Like uh, you don't know you want to do something, but you don't know what it is. You're gonna be getting an understanding of what that is. Yeah, you need to be mindful for self-sabotaging behavior popping up in the near future. This could be you going on right now. So if, if when we start to um, break free from that ego space, the ego wants to keep you sit there trapped inside his box. So in or, and when we start making progress on the path, our ego wants to like try to, to, to bring up old behavior patterns to keep us locked in that box. So make sure that, um, you know, you're not, that you're keeping that in check, all right? Yeah, you're really being guided to, to listen to your intuition. All right, so make sure you're listening to your guides, um, to divine consciousness. Make sure you're being really observant of the world around you and getting signs and symbols in the real world environment. And this is really going to help you lead you to that understanding and how to get to the place that you want to be. All right, you're really going to follow your intuition. And it looks like uh, that's going to start happening when you get that self-sabotaging behavior in check. Because you can't bring those old toxic uh, behavior patterns into a, a new course of life like that, especially when you're trying to create a dream. Yeah, nice. It looks like you're, you're starting to get your, your thought space in control. You're understanding your thoughts are a living force and that you're actually, you're being mindful of your thoughts. That's awesome. That's big. That's how you steer the ship. It's having control of your thoughts and having control of the fear space. Yeah, you, you're really being guided to trust your intuition. Uh, the Phoenix Stone, it, it's amazing crystal. This increases your intuition, so you need to jump on online Amazon and order one. You can get them pretty cheap. It's a, one of the most powerful crystals I've come into contact with. It will raise your vibration to the frequency that you're trying with what you're trying to create. Yeah, there's an imbalance in the home life in your nest. Really be mindful of that. For some of you, this could be like your home life with your parents. And then some of you, this could be uh, your home life with your partner. Understand that when we're making forward progress on the path, that you are the only person standing in your way. You're the only thing. You are the guardian at the gates. You hold the keys to your salvation. All right, you really take control of your fucking power and understand that you are the one that is in control. Your decision making is what makes it happen. When you start applying discipline to what it is you're trying to do, then you're going to get somewhere. If you're still trying to sideswipe and move around, you know, whatever the obstacles are, you're not you're not going to get to where you need to be. It's going to delay the progress. For some of you, this might be like jumping into uh, a, an old cycle of uh, like a karmic partner. Man, don't focus on anybody else right now. Focus on yourself. Don't worry about uh, finding love, anything like that. You need to be focused on what you're doing. If you're, if you're trying to, to entertain yourself with just a, a random relationship, it, that's, that's not on the agenda, bro. You need to pay attention and make sure you're, you're, you're focused on what you're doing.
That time will come, but it's not here now. You need to listen to what I'm saying. You're in the ascension phase of your life. The tower card's coming out and it's coming out in reverse. So if the tower card like that, when it's in reverse, if you can see it, it looks like the two people falling out of the tower when it's upright it are ascending into the clouds. All right, so this speaks on ascension energy. This is you really making some progress and forward, you know. Feels like you're gonna help a lot of people, man. We're talking about your financial stability and your, your you know, along with when we increase our vibration like that and we uh, we get a, a, a goal or an intention to do, to create a business like that with good intentions in mind, man, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. Make sure you're focusing on the root chakra. I'm seeing an imbalance there. We're gonna look at some shadow work that it's gonna help you out along the way. Make sure when you're on the ascension uh, side of things, you're bringing <clears throat> all aspects of your life into balance, okay? Not just I'm, I'm good in my 3D environment, my home life, my job, and then, you know, did, you know, not pay attention to everything else. Everything needs to come online at the same time, bro. Make sure you're paying attention to, to what it is you're trying to accomplish. I keep saying bro, but I'm male or female. Energies can always be reversed. And with the self-sabotaging behavior, I'm seeing you bring that into balance. You're gonna listen to this and take the advice. You've already made the decision. After watching this. All right, so the high priestess is popping out. So this speaks on a few things. So in order to accomplish the goal that you're trying to, to get to, you're going to have to really open up avenues of your life that maybe you've, you haven't looked at in a while. How you've treated others. Um, fixing the past will help you move forward. If you're not fixing the past, like the, the trauma you've caused other people, it's going gonna, it's gonna to slow your magic down a little bit. It's going to have a, 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 gonna be a block there in your forward progression. All right, you gotta, you gotta imbalance in the solar plexus and your willpower chakra. So there must be something that you're not creating boundaries, boundaries with somebody else or this could be boundaries with yourself. This could be that maybe a friend or a partner you've got close to you. Maybe this could be a, a, a also, it's somebody in the background. Somebody, see if you can see somebody in the background standing there, they need to. You need to put a set boundaries into place with them. Getting in touch with the high priestess is going to be your avenue of forward progression. And for some of you, this is like spiritual upgrades. For some of you, this is uh, increasing the channeling that you're going. Make sure that you're, uh, you're deciphering between what is the ego space and what is divine consciousness. Make sure you're paying attention to, to things you're seeing in the real world environment. A butterfly, what color is the butterfly? What does that represent? Um, are you seeing a hawk overhead telling you to, to look at things from a higher perspective? Um, really start to learn to interpret the real world environment. You get signs and symbols like that to, to the point where you wouldn't even have to read tarot. I mean, it's, it's pretty profound once you start paying attention. Yeah, I'm seeing avenues in your intuition opening up. 
coming into balance, coming online. Some of you guys, this is Reiki. You're learning to do energy work, energy manipulation. This is going to be really getting in touch with your emotions. Learning to flow like the water with your emotions. Learning what to hold on to, what not to hold on to. What's going to be beneficial in the future, what's not going to be beneficial. This is going to be uh, earth shaking. My camera just moved. My dog's head. So yeah, this is going to be uh, it's going to be life, sh life, sh earth shattering, earth shaking. This is going to be big. Yeah, dude. This is, whatever you're working on, it's going to lead you to a place of fulfillment. The Ten of Cups is coming out, and the Ten, ten of Cups um, speaks on. Spiritual fulfillment, fulfillment in the 3D space, fulfillment with a partner. For some of you, this is that you're trying to manifest the perfect partner, the, tw the twin flame or soulmate. And I'm seeing you accomplish this by when you do the, the internal work, working with your intuition, doing shadow work. Ah, yes. And then this is also you getting the family that you wanted, that you, that you uh, this is justice coming also. The scales of justice balancing out in your favor. This is a new family coming in and this is in the future. This is also somebody that's learning to balance the light and the dark. Not just working with uh, with one side, but understanding that there's a balance to all things. And especially if you're trying to make forward progression in magic, you need to understand that the light is just as important as the dark and neither one should be uh, neglected or overlooked. They can both teach us priceless things. For some of you, this is like working with spirits on both sides. You don't have to pick one side or the other. You can work with both sides. I am seeing a child come from your partner in the future. The hawk. You're starting to learn to look at your life from a higher perspective. You're starting to understand maybe who you are, what you're doing here, what you want to accomplish. This could be uh, you, you becoming a medium. Also, I'm looking at the cat. The cats are always half in this world and half in the spiritual world. So this is you, speaks on you like uh, developing your, your psychic gifts and abilities to where you're doing readings for people. Uh, you're doing mediumships for people, channeling divine consciousness messages. So this is tapping into both the masculine and the feminine energies. For some of you, you've got a mother that uh, there's some there's some traumatic wounds there you need to heal. Make amends with. There's a fly in my ear. You need to listen. This is a mother figure that could be controlling, could be sending you negative energy just by thinking about you know what she doesn't agree with in your life. Somebody wanting attention, wanting your attention. Yeah, I'm seeing Judas energy coming out. All right, so this is uh, your mother has ill ill intentions towards you, okay? The hangman speaks on Judas energy. This is somebody that'll tell you one thing to your face and turn around completely behind your back and, and do the opposite. Really be mindful of that. I'm seeing you working on your business and I'm seeing you make some fucking decisions that are gonna really benefit your future. The higher font speaks on you making... Uh, Balanced decisions, especially through with a form of discipline like we were talking about earlier. Balancing out, balancing out the energy in the body. And this could also be you becoming the magus, becoming, becoming the, the, the magician. Learning to, to, to bend and wield the laws of physics to, you see, to how you see fit. seeing Egypt popping up. 
Maybe you guys are studying things of the Herme Hermetic Order, Crowley, things like that. Yeah, and for some of you, I'm seeing, I'm seeing you fucking wave the fingers and, and move this energy right out of your life. That's your mom sitting there looking at you with her negative ass attitude. Yeah, she's like, see how she's staring? Like being really judgmental, man, I can feel it from here. Wanting your attention, look at me, see me, hear me. Maybe this is somebody that wants constant reassurance. For some of you, it doesn't necessarily have to be a mother figure. This could be just a female figure in your life. I do see you getting justice in that area. All right, so the scales will balance. Especially when you do the healing that you need to. You're making the right decisions. I'm seeing you be successful. And this is also... Um, this is the past balancing out. You might've gotten robbed, especially with the, the loss of the child in the past, but this is the scales, uh, scales balancing out in your favor. All right, be open-minded to, to, to new avenues in your life that you didn't previously think of. I'm also seeing you fucking beast um this is somebody that's highly in touch with their intuition we're talking about the near future this is you like when you step into your power and you really become the high priestess you become the magician you speak truth you bounce the, you you know you utilize your authenticity and you speak your truth you're holding the sword of justice you're understanding uh where to put your energy where not to put your energy who to give your energy to Some of you might feel like you're just like in a limbo stage right now where things are just, nothing's happening. You're just kind of hanging out. It's, this is all leading up to something. The lovers is on the bottom of the deck. So this is about bringing in your soulmate or your twin flame. That's twin flame energy for sure. I can feel it. Got the chills on my body. So for some of you, um, this is destined. You pre-planned this before you came here. And everything in your life has been leading you up to this one defining moment in your life. When this person comes into your life, it will be a type of love that you have never experienced before. Something that will blow your mind. You will, you, your, your healing will uh, speed up. You're, you'll start learning um, esoteric and occult knowledge at a, at a lightning fast speed. You might pick up a deck of tarot and learn the entire deck in a couple months. Learn and start doing readings. For some of you, this is increasing your channeling, your gifts and abilities. And also this is a telepathy connection between you and the partner. Yeah, I'm seeing Cupid right above, and uh, definitely you're getting help from outside this place. You're getting help from uh, your guides, angels, whatever side you you know you're on or work with, deities. I'm feeling deities. If you don't know what a, true, a twin flame is, I would highly re recommend you, you look it up and understand what's coming into your life. It's big. It's, it's big. Earth shaking. Mm. It feels really good. You're coming from a place where there was a lot of pain and a lot of shit not working out in your past, but everything is, is a, has a purpose to it. There's a, there's a reason that everything has happened in your life like this. This is an evolutionary progress of the soul. Some of you have hopped through time after time, life after life after life, trying to get to this point in your life. It took many lifetimes to get to this. You've put in a lot of work, effort, a lot of growing and understanding through life after life. You're refining the soul, hopping through lifetimes making yourself better and better. And 
And this could be also experiencing life in all of its many forms. So some of you may feel like this is an illusion, like that love's not 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 on the on the on the menu for you. Or you might feel like, oh, that doesn't exist. Well, not, twin flames don't exist. The uh, universe is about to prove your fucking ass wrong. This is also you creating illusions about love, you know, in your mind, what love should be, what it shouldn't be. Dude, buckle up, man. Shit's about to fucking blow your mind. When these two energies come together, because the twin flame energy is your exact energy in the form of a male or female uh, of the other uh, polar opposite. I mean, this could be even two, two males and two females. Uh, gender doesn't matter. This has to do with the, the energy in the body. Make sure you're not putting limiting beliefs on what can happen and you know, and what is real and what is not. Look at the world with a childlike sense of wonder. Just know that justice is yours. It's coming. You have to put in the work, though, to get there. All right, my friends. This is going to conclude our reading. Um, I'm going to put a link down in the below if you want a full reading. Um, there's a lot more to the reading. I'm just barely skimming the surface. So if you want an in-depth reading, shoot me a message. Um, I also do Reiki and other forms of energy work and manipulation, um, chakra balancing. You, just send me a message, and we can talk about what I can help you out with. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button and thank you for being here. You guys have a good day.